pills you keep taking one uh, ultimately your deposits will get depleted then you'll be back again with the same problems of a back aches or uh, um, shoulder aches or uh, uh, spondylitis cervicals everything and all these things you will not notice uh, in your uh, prime but uh, over the time when you are there in the aging and old age these will come as a major eye openers uh, they will then they would have taken shape of major diseases which will then require a lot of treatments to be done so as they say that okay for when in the air flights or in the planes they say that okay uh, before helping others you need to take care of yourself put your mask first so why we tend to ignore that we tend to it put on that oxygen mask on ourselves first and we keep helping others so that was the analogy i could think of yeah and also when it comes to education right uh, why is it important for a girl child to be educated the more we educate the girl child it's better for the house it's better for the nation as dr priya savant uh, rightly mentioned some time back uh, the more you educate a, a girl child we will be the nation will be more empowered because they are, we are all ready to conquer the world right so in every way where in every sector we are stepping in nowadays so at least the basic education should be given so the thing at is at least the basic education must be provided to girl children so that they don't feel left out from the society and they can try to um, be on par with or at least a little bit on you know they can manage themselves independently when they are at the age where they have to be independent so at uh, some basic job depending on uh, uh, how their family background is and how their economical background is how we can support so now what are we doing now my question arises when we are talking about education of course that i mean it, of course it was health but dr raju rao i take upon uh, the liberty to take 2 minutes on this but what is our step i mean uh, um, jayshree i'm asking you gomanti i'm asking you priya what is our step when we are consistently saying or emphasizing girl education girl education of course the girls in our family uh, we are living in the cities of course they are educated what is what are we doing for this education other than the words other than what actions are we taking you know the first action that uh, comes to my mind and i have done that to tell you very honestly i have done that and i want to um, inspire others to take those steps if you are saying girl education you have a help or a maid in your house so if you see their kids are not going to schools okay and why don't you ask okay if you says i have two three uh, uh, kids and uh, you, only the boy is going and the girls are not going probably they go later or maybe there is no need for them because ultimately a maid's a, a girl child will be doing the same household help or something and if some sometimes she is not coming she is sending his her daughter so i mean on those terms so why can't we sponsor that school fee of that child of that girl child why can't we yeah. do that why can't we yes. give them uh, a- here i would like to uh, just uh, uh, put my view here so there are many organizations many ngos that are coming forward nowadays uh, especially myself being a rotarian rotary is doing a lot for uh, you know the, the girl child education uh, we have been conducting it is not only education but also giving them uh, opportunities to learn vocational skills by giving them vocational training so as i told you in our previous meetings itself i mean i am not new to this family so in the previous meeting itself i told everybody that i am available uh, as a rotarian to provide my services and uh, uh, rotary does a lot of work i'm sure even carolyn ma'am is also here uh, she's from lions club so uh, such ngos like in lions club or rotary we are working towards the girl child education and they they many there are many people who have adopted the villages and they provide education to girls and not only that if the if the girl is a little grown up they try to give them vocational training by for example tailoring it can be uh, baking confectionery uh, exactly. these kind of sectors you know where 
they can have a livelihood probably in the future they can even set up a small uh, a small scale business for themselves or even start so there are people who have been providing uh, tailoring machines for these uh, ladies grown up ladies you know who are, uh, are coming under the low economic background right so yes there it has been going on but probably the percentage can increase a little bit you know you know what oh. my mom had this uh, a maid and then uh, she uh, this maid uh, went on some leaves and she started sending her girl child and you know what uh, me and my mom was so touched to, uh, to see her that she is not going to school not getting education rather than she is uh, following her mother's footsteps you know what we did we actually asked her what is it that interests you do you want to go to school we can pay your school fee okay but you will not back out from there but in case we actually create a platform for you we pay your school fee you will not back out from there but you know what she said i want to do a a course in a beauty beautician course a beauty parlor course and she said and and then we asked her do you want to do sewing machine or uh, uh, this tailoring course or a beauty parlor course or something she said i am more interested in a beauty parlor course and she did that we actually sponsored that and uh, we did that we spoke to her mother we got that okay we'll pay the fee she did that course and now she is working there full time rather than uh, as a maid she is working in a salon a beauty parlor as a beautician and it feels so nice sometimes she comes to us on um, uh, holi or uh, diwali just to say uh, just to ask how are you doing and uh, um, so i just came to ask uh, about your well being it feels nice it feels very satisfying that at least we could do our bit and this one person one person is living a life of a self um, independent is uh, living a life of uh, independence and earning her livelihood and she will of course so will get a better future a better husband i mean that ways and her own confidence and individuality has been sharpened so that feeling is invaluable trust me that so that was the reason that i was saying rather than uh, what is the basics minutest one basic step that we can take when we talk about these uh, big topics of uh, uh, education or healthcare at least do your bit and if each one of us they are sitting in our city homes if we are doing that one basic step imagine one lady taking care of one girl child whether it is a maid or uh, somebody in the neighborhood imagine how many helping hands we would be having it does not cost much to tell you very honestly a government school fee does not cost much a tailoring course does not cost much we i can skip that a uh, one meal in a fancy restaurant and sponsor a girl child and somebody that i can see with my own eyes is being transformed to a different uh, um, a person a individuality has been groomed that feeling is invaluable trust me when i say that uh, with my own experience yeah deepa the life foundation is doing the same i am only the one army um, service so no i don't have any sponsors i work hard only to support the underprivileged so in the slum i am doing the same i have set up two study centers paying the salary for the teachers educating girls and boys equally so that um, they can remain as the best citizens of india and support the nation because slums they are much addicted with all bad habits so i don't want their children to be spoiled and ruin the entire environment of the nation or the slum society at least so i am i have started up uh, two study centers and educating girls and boys equally and also encouraging those uh, slum children to step into residential schools i have seen six children got admitted in residential schools i spoke to principal and I made them to write the entrance whatever they wrote i said they have to be admitted and uh, so they have admitted in uh, residential schools so up to degree they can study on free free education as well i set up one tailoring center i made a one uh, tailor tutor to teach them 20 women are learning tailoring so that's what the life foundation is doing and even uh, lions club uh, also for the support of lions club also i'm taking up another slum and i'm implementing the same so with my salary 
So these are the services I'm doing. Wonderful, Dr. Carolyn. This is this is the impact that I want to see in the society. Um, as they say in Hindi, I would say diye se si diya jalaye. So yeah. if we are being an inspiration, like if if we have ten people listening to us and can see the basic minutest step that we are taking with our own capacity, our economic conditions, of course, each one has its own. But if we can do it. If we can influence, inspire ten other more uh, ladies out there, I mean, imagine the Im massive impact it will create. No, Nita, you That's agree true. to it, right? <laughs> yes, definitely. Now, uh, here, um, as you said, that you are you help the uh, girl child who of maids uh, daughter. I. Uh, Mm, doing a very small uh, task, just a drop in the ocean, or maybe a less than that. That I am helping uh, two of my son servants' daughters, and I am uh, bearing their fees, and they are studying in a reputed school. Wonderful. So I'm just helping out there. Uh, one thing which I uh, just wanted to add here that we train our children, girls, females not to talk about menstrual cycle to any member, male member of the family. How many times can we do a lot of charity, right? Wherever there is a festival or whatever, there are n number of uh, occasions on which we do charity, we distribute food, we distribute uh, maybe juices, whatever. Why can't we distribute sanitary napkins? We can't do that because we are somewhere scared. We have made yeah. it such a taboo that yeah. my own child is not free to talk to her father that this is the problem what I am facing. Abhi, it was a discussion that the parents do not want their teens when they start with their cycle to the gynecologist. So there has to be some change somewhere. And we only can initiate. It is that DSA Diya Jalawala concept is beautiful because somewhere we have to initiate as a woman. We have yeah. to develop that confidence in the daughters that you go ahead, I am beside you. Right. Just to tap on the shoulder to create that confidence. Go ahead, Bache, I am with you. And that will actually help a lot. Yeah, we have yes, done that, uh, in slum. Yes, uh, we have distributed uh, sanitary napkins to the women of slum, and uh, we uh, came to know they are using clothes. So we said, if you use clothes, what kind of diseases they will be affected? So yes. we educated. We have taken up awareness programs continuously, and we they were not in a ready state to accept the napkins. They said uh, we are used to this cloth. Yes, and it is such a educated. taboo to talk about this. It is yes. such a taboo to talk about this in an open forum. We are ashamed now. of that. Yes. So, so when now the that is like to, yeah, there is why awesome. we are ashamed of that. Once that is a God's gift to yeah. us. That makes so, us complete. Yes. That makes so, a woman a woman. Yes. So why we should be ashamed of it? Ashamed. Yeah. So and actually, it is a very simple. It does not happen. Deepa, one second. So I, we have spread all the napkin boxes on the table and we're distributing. Slum men people, they came and they said, ma'am, you're distributing here openly. Please, please go to the, you have study yes. center. I have you as set up. Go inside, take all this material, take all the women, please don't distribute openly. So then I said, nothing. I go, to a, I go to a medical store, right? And if I refuse that black polythene in which he wraps the sanitary pad, or I ask for a contraceptive, people turn back and look at me. She's just asking yeah. for a contraceptive. So open, I mean, this is my right. I have to take care of my health. So I am buying it. So and what's wrong with it? Diya na, and if you openly bowl diya, then you are judged. Then are you are judged? judged? People will look at you as you are an alien. <laughs> I mean, they no. look at you as if like this lady has no yeah, yeah. exactly has no. No. actually uh, Rotary has been I would like to I would like to add here uh, Rotary also has been distributing a lot of even I have been a part of that I think there is some disturbance somewhere, somewhere. no no continue, continue yeah 
So actually, a Rotary Club has been like what Carolyn Ma'am said. Rotary also, we have, even now in my club, we have been doing exclusively for uh, girls. Girl, it's not only sanitary pads, but everything. Uh, we, we have uh, formed uh, uh, an organization kind of thing where Rotary and the organization combined together. We are uh, coming up with a lot of uh, stuff for uh, women, women empowerment, like Starting from basic things like what we were talking about, the sanitary stuff, the men, how the personal hygiene, I would call no, personal hygiene thing, for women. Uh, so so one, thing, because one second, one second, let me, let me, let me finish. Deepa, you're the moderator, so you have to let us speak. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me finish one second. So, you know, there is a lot of things going on. There are so many. I would urge all the women to even probably join Rotary or Lions Club to know what is going on in the society, how much actually people are doing. Because uh, as Deepa said, okay, start with your mate's daughter. That everybody I think here is doing definitely. We don't have to say that. Okay. I'm sure each and everyone is doing in our own way. Okay. But beyond that, to find out, we have to join some organizations to know what is going on. So once I joined Rotary, I'm a Rotarian since uh, probably 2017. So from then to now, I have seen how much Rotary has. This year, the theme for Rotary is Be the Change. Okay. Yeah. So there is something going on around, a lot of things going on around. So it has been wonderful to see how much each, we have 115 clubs in our district. So each and every club is doing so much for women, uh, their education, they are taking the onus of uh, making them, uh, they are even adapting a school, uh, they are taking onus of the government schools, they are connecting with the government, closely with the government to see how many students are there, what they need, what are their basic needs. So it is really very uh, fantastic to see the uh, kind of work that is going on uh, we just, uh, probably Carolyn Ma'am is a live example for what she has been doing. And uh, I can show n number of uh, uh, people who are actually doing these kind of activities. Uh, it's across the world. Rotary is an organization that is a worldwide organization. So if you go across, there is a lot money allotted only for literacy and girl child literacy. So that literacy means it comes uh, that that falls under every category like you know personal hygiene literacy. Then uh, even probably the villages don't even have proper uh, what to say sanitation where they don't have proper toilets, right? So because of this also the girl, we have to think of what are the other causes why girls are dropping out of schools or colleges. Basic sanitation, right? So, lack of toilets. So, the villages don't have toilets. So, Rotary has taken the step. My club has built in, actually, one. we adopted one village and we have so far built around 30 toilets for a village. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, that way, you know, we have to, end. these are the small steps. It's all a stepping stone that can make, encourage the girls or the parents of the girls to send them to school. Because when, when they ask me, we all know security and safety is what everybody looks at, right? How safe the community is for a girl when they come to school. Nowadays, there are so many things happening. We can't even trust a male teacher. In what angle they look at a child? So many uh, vulnerable or violent incidents have been taking place, right? So I think... Uh, here many of you have already said women have to support women only then things can change we cannot expect always uh, you know men to support us or something like that first thing is we have to support each other without any bias or uh, without any jealousy or anything like that we have to think that okay even if a woman is, a woman is achieving more than us we have to encourage that and say okay you're good at your field I'm good at my field so when we are clear in segregating that part, I think we can definitely achieve more. And uh, of course, being uh, coming to the health part, it is not only getting the master health checkup, 
and uh, myself i have uh, been into cycling and running for quite some time so <laughs> i'll definitely bring the topic in so <laughs> uh, i encourage all women to at least take a walk for 20 minutes every day minimum so please you know make your time to take a walk because health is wealth so even in your terrace you can take 10 minutes to walk every day so i would prefer morning time but of course depending on your schedule you can choose which time you want to take a walk if you if you are not having a company you know um, probably you can even request your partner to come with you to so that you know you can have a time with them or you know it depends on okay if you want to have your time just go ahead take the 10 minutes and come back but at least minimum of 20 minutes is encouraged for good health or uh, because we are talking about weight gain right and we are talking about hormonal changes we are talking about menopause so when we reach that menopause obviously there will be weight gain and loss will be there so when you are consistent with your uh, walking or whatever workout you want to do these things can be avoided after a certain age so uh, i think when we reach the 30 or 35 we should uh, not say oh i am in my 30s now oh my god what's going to happen so this is where you start the uh, you trigger yourself into a healthy uh, routine of uh, fitness or basic walking nothing much i even i encourage all the girls my uh, students in the school the girls to uh, at least take a walk because their parents feel that oh exam is coming so I should not send my children for uh, uh, the time will get wasted because they have to study I said please don't think that way the 10 minutes of walk will be a it will be it's going to be reju rejuvenating and refreshing so definitely I think all of us require that um, thing to keep ourselves sane and uh, we should continue to support each other and for a health, not only a healthy family, but the healthy society. So this is uh, my view of my view on this. Wonderful, so. wonderful. Uh, what's a Gumanji Prasanthi's uh, opinion there? Yes, yes, Priya Saman, please. Yeah, uh, nice suggestion by Dr. Jayashri that we should have at least 10 minutes to walk. But one thing, why should we take somebody along with us? We should have me time as well, you know. So that 10 minutes, can we can have a me time. Definitely, definitely. Yes. Yeah, that is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, whatever said and done, we may all have our hobbies, right? But it's, you, some ladies may be interested in drawing, some may be interested in uh, knitting, yeah. but they are all again activities that you sit and do. Apart from that, the 10 minutes of walk is a must. Because it is all again, now if you see any person who is a musician or in any field, everybody are into health. They are all, they all somewhere or the other try to do yoga or something to keep themselves healthy because otherwise they cannot sustain in their field, you know. So, it is very important. So, that 10 to 20 minutes every day, either morning or evening, set your time and take a walk, minimum slow walk, stroll and then come back. <laughs> Where is Deepa? Yeah, ma'am, Gumadi, ma'am. Mumbadi Prashanti, ma'am, please. Yeah, you can. finally. Greetings, sir. To all. Yes, finally. So, <laughs> greetings to all invite strong personalities. And touch touch by Prashanti, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. Uh, able to hear me? Yes, yes. We can. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Greetings to all elite strong personalities present here. And... Um, being a member of uh, Junior Chamber International Visa Court City and uh, you know, uh, from our church activities as a part of church activities and individually, like uh, here, like you no, know, we conduct you know, more of uh, women health and uh, education programs on women health and uh, education, especially in reference to uh, rural India. So during that uh, you no know, uh, course, like you no, know, we observed like uh, women have uh, you no. Know, have money hardly have money uh, to spend on their own health the triggers uh, no uh, like our government need to formulate certain uh, no uh, public uh, policies so the rea reality is that women take less care about their health and always prioritize family responsibilities 
they uh, they think that they lack uh, time and certain uh, no religious customs and traditions so moreover on behalf of our organization we spread awareness in uh, intermediate and degree colleges in the within the city limit and uh, rural india especially even uh, no we move to tribal areas when it comes to a, a part of church activities so we spread awareness on uh, no cancer because that is a major thing uh, no that is uh, happening where a million uh, women die uh, from cervical cancer and half a million uh, people die because of uh, breast cancer so where screening prevention and treatment are uh, no almost uh, uh, non existent so this is how we spread awareness uh, in uh, intermediate and at uh, degree level because if these girls know how to uh, like uh, see prevention is uh, the only remedy that we have uh, no uh, for this uh, breast cancer uh, no concept so that that was a major reason uh, no we uh, spread awareness like uh, among these uh, degree students so that they go home and they educate their uh, parents and other women folk so when it comes to, not only it is a uh, cancer it is also about a uh, reproductive health problems that is one third of uh, health issues of women uh, no uh like uh, because of which women die between the ages uh, 15 to 44 years maternal uh, health around uh, 2013 if we observe 3 lakh women uh, no died uh, because of uh, complications in pregnancy and childbirth so most of these deaths uh, could have been prevented if we have access to family planning and to some uh, quite basic uh, services even uh, no till the uh, till day especially in rural areas so hiv when we are talking about hiv too many women uh, like you know they still struggle to protect themselves against hiv so this also leaves uh, no particularly like uh, no vulnerable uh, to tuberculosis so we found most of them are affecting to tuberculosis so this uh, uh, was uh, one of the leading cause for the death of women uh, you know aging between 20 and 59 so untreated uh, no sexually transmitted infections no they are responsible uh, more than 2 lakh uh, stillbirths and early fetal uh, uh, no deaths every year so uh, like uh, and uh, also for the deaths of every 90000 newborns and uh, when it comes to mental health especially during this covid time uh, no women experience physical symptoms that cannot be explained medically so they are those who are working women like uh, uh, due to stress or uh, depression we have number of uh, examples where uh, uh, like um, uh, a teacher from kerala she had given her uh, uh, like uh, life uh, like on, uh, during online uh, class so that video also went uh, no uh, it was very heart uh, breaking but uh, no so depression is the most common mental health that we observed for women and suicide a leading cause uh, for the death of women under 60 so the major part is old age so geriatric care you know because uh, i being a social worker social worker we concentrated on geriatric uh, care during a pandemic where we observed you uh, know uh, like uh, the older women have you uh, know the fewer pension and uh, benefits they are less access to health care and uh, social services you uh, know when when compared to their uh, male counters so women are at a high risk you uh, know uh, when when they come when they reach old age it is uh, due to uh, lack of uh, money and uh, lack of uh, poor health they have been uh, at a risk of abuse too so coming to the part of education that we uh, know promote uh, on behalf of our uh, church and uh, um, jci visakhapatnam court city like uh, we distributed uh, no cell phones and we went into the uh, like uh, cities organizing the Uh, no number of empowerment program as you said it it was a tail ring we made um, uh, like a uh, paper bag making uh, like uh, 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 cell phone uh, repair work we encouraged them to rear uh, no goats and uh, go organic uh, uh, no uh, plantations uh, no there are number of things that uh, no uh, we did on uh, uh, no educating women not only women uh, no Uh, like uh, even men you uh, know uh, we asked them you uh, know to cooperate with us and you uh, know we distributed sanitary pads that is our regular program you uh, know for the migrant workers especially because that was the time during the lockdown that was the time where na uh, no women you um, uh, know face much uh, difficulties uh, during their menstrual uh, circle while moving from chennai to you uh, know uh, bengal 
so coming to the part of uh, education uh, education is a basic requirement and it is the milestone uh, no that empowers women to face any number of n number of challenges so it is not only to confront their uh, traditional role but also change their life and uh, no mindset uh, it uh, helps us uh, to strengthening uh, no financially that is financial empowerment we can see and uh, no uh, like uh, they can um, uh, have this emotional uh, no uh, uh, resilient so that was the major thing we concentrated on women empowerment skill based programs like so this knowledge it can be uh, like uh, in the form of uh, no formal or informal or uh, non formal uh, no methods but uh, the growth of women education especially in rural uh, areas is really very slow and uh, we still need uh, to give them uh, no the skill based education that is the urgent uh, no need for women so that they can stand on their own if we uh, no come across if we see the roadside vendors and uh, other people after the lockdown now uh, you might uh, no have um, uh, observed the uh, their population at reduce they are nowhere seen so where they were 